Right now, the measles outbreak may have spread to New Jersey and Ohio, where health officials are keeping an eye on two suspected cases. It comes after five babies at a daycare center in Chicago came down with the highly contagious disease. Up to 10 other children may have been exposed there, too. Babies under 12 months are especially vulnerable because they're too young to get the vaccine. Across the country, there have been at least 150 cases of measles in 14 states, many of them linked to Disneyland in California. Here in New York, there have been three confirmed cases of the disease, one in Dutchess County and two down in New York City. Onondaga County hasn't had a confirmed case of measles since 2000. CBS 5's Dora Scheidel is with the live eye outside the Onondaga County Health Department downtown. Dora. Michael, the message we keep hearing over and over from officials here at the Onondaga County Health Department is get vaccinated. But what do you do if your child is too young to get the shot? I took that question to the experts today to find out how you can keep your kids safe. <laughs> For Diana Presley, getting to work with these smiling faces always brightens her day. When you feel kind of low, all you gotta do is interact with one of them and they kind of lift you up. At Lean On Me Daycare in Syracuse, the priority is keeping their kids safe. So it was a shock to hear about a daycare in Chicago in the midst of a measles outbreak. My priority is making sure that the children are in a safe environment while their parents is at work. Children aren't supposed to get the measles vaccine until they're one year old. But Joe Domikowski, a pediatric infectious disease specialist at Upstate University Hospital, says if they've been exposed, they can get vaccinated as early as six months old. So what can you do to protect your babies? If they're under six months of age, many of them will have some of mom's antibody, especially if they were born term babies, not the preemies, but the, the term babies. Um, for the rest of them, we need to just protect them by making sure they're not exposed. Protect them by getting vaccinated yourself. It's a concept medical professionals refer to as community immunity. You have so many people 